Kali Uchis is in the studio with us. Yay! Welcome. But I, I, I'm I'm just talking about like you're gonna see this video. I'm sure somewhere posted, but now you didn't just get up and say I'm gonna throw something on and come in. You committed. <laughs> no, I actually did. This is from my closet. I did my really? makeup in the car. Yeah, it was just a really chaotic morning. You have matching red glasses to your outfit. That's a look. <laughs> well, it's Red Moon Venus. Yeah, it's Red Moon and Venus. Yeah. So I've just been trying to stick to my, you know, thematic. So do you have a closet full of red for this album? No, you know what? Before, um, when I was working on the album, after I knew what I was going to name it, I started collecting a lot of red eyewear. Because I was like, oh, you know, when I step That's out, cool. I'm going to want my red eyewear for Red Moon and Venus. So. It all work. And we must look very, very cool through those lenses. <laughs> yeah, I actually love it. I love how the world looks through them. It's so beautiful. Um, I just want to play Telepathia for a second. We'll come back here. Smash from Cali I got Get your your take and your view because to a lot of people, like, here's Cali Uchis, Telepathia, right? Like, th they just get to know you through that song. And when I go back and look at the things you've done over the past, that was not an overnight success story. You've been doing this for a while. And I'm curious to know, like, that's a, a song that breaks through globally. And that's a moment that broke through globally for you. What was different about that? Why do you think it happened then? Um, I think that because of like the topic of the song is a lot about basically, um, you know, being able to have a connection with somebody that's not physical. And I dropped my album November 2019 and it was it was during the pandemic, pretty much the height of the pandemic and the beginning of the height of the pandemic. So I think that it resonated with a lot of people not being able to connect physically with one another. And it was also just a very unique, different song. Um, there's nothing on Latin radio, especially at that time that sounded like that. And um it's a, uh, it's a special song. So it was something really fun to be able to see. Kelly's just with us now. Where did you grow up? I grew up between Northern VA, like right outside of DC, and Colombia, Pereira, Colombia. And when you say like you went back and forth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to school in both places. So I learned to read and write Spanish before English, and um, I went to school in Colombia like most of my like younger years, and then I moved to Virginia. Later, um, and went pretty much like the end of like, like middle school, high school. I did out there. Was it hard adjusting, like from Spanish to English in those years, especially? No, I grew up bilingual, so I grew up speaking Spanglish a lot, and um, I grew up pretty much learning both languages at the same time. So, oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing never been to Colombia. Picturing a plate with beans and plantains <laughs> and like this famous dish there. That maybe you have for breakfast, or maybe you have it for for dinner. What's it, what's the name of it? Um, I think it's you're like talking. I think you're talking about calentao. Like, is that what it is? It's, it's basically like just signature. like re. It's basically just like reheated dinner. Like we love it for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Leftovers. Yeah. I see it on good. Instagram. Yeah. If you're talking uh, about a breakfast, yes, that we're also on, we're really known for our bandeja paisa, which is like more of like meats and stuff. It's like yeah. lots of great meats. Mm -hmm. we're, we're foodies. We love to talk about food around here. Yeah. Big foodies. And now, do you live in L.A.? Are you in Hollywood now? Yeah, I live... Um, Don't not, say where. Yeah, not in L.A., but I live outside of L.A. Yeah. Southern California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you like life here? I love it. I love it. I've been here since pretty much after I graduated high school. I came out here um, to pursue, you know, music and the arts. And I have found it, you know, to obviously be very... A Is it have a positive. Yeah, it had a positive effect on my life for sure. All the people that wanted to work with me when I started making music were from out here, so that was the main reason why I moved. Kelly Uchis is with us now, 102.7 KISS FM. It took almost five years to make this new album, or five plus? Well, I would say that because I make albums in English, and like my first album was fully in English with one Latin song. My second album was my first Latin album. And then this one is English with a couple songs in Spanish. My next one's going to be Latin. So for me, it's like I always say I feel like I have to work two times harder because I I'm making it's like it's like my first English, my first Spanish, mm -hmm, my second mm -hmm. English, my second Spanish. So um, I kind of just that's a way for me to also like have my creative process very free because basically while I was working on my Latin album, if I happen to make songs in English, I would just kind of store them to the side for this project. Um, so yeah, so technically the making was yeah like some of the songs on this album are from like 2019, 2018, um, because. 
I was working on my Latin album at that time so as well. So when was Moonlight, for example? When was that? Moonlight wasn't made that long ago. Moonlight was made, um, I want to say, last year. Okay. Reason I bring it up, I'm going to play that song. Let's play Moonlight next. We'll take a break, come back. Kali Uchis with us. I love how that song sits in that tempo. It just sort of sits in a, mm-hmm. a really cool vibe. Thank you. Yeah, I love down tempo music. Looking Dolly. <laughs> looking Dolly. I'm sorry, he's not. <laughs> hey, Tubbs, we're looking Dolly. Let's roll. <laughs> but uh, when you hear it, when you listen back to finished product, you've been so close to it for so long. What do you think about? What do you see in your head? I love it. I'm really happy with it. Um, it came together so naturally, and I feel like that's how the best songs um, come together, just really intuitively. And I feel good listening listening to it just now. I feel I feel good about it. And the album, which is out now, you talk about being about different components, different layers of love, different mm. levels of love. What are those those different textures to you? Yeah, um, I think the album, all those different dimensions. So, um, like my last single is about like releasing people with love. A lot of the music can be about calling love into your life. Mm-hmm. Um, Self love, learning to harvest that love within yourself, and being in love. You know that that magical feeling of falling in love. I think there's so much magic to it, and it's so special in the Those world. Those are more. really mature ways to look at love. Like everything you just said, that's a very thoughtful, mature way to look at love. I would need help getting to those places to think about that stuff. Is that how <laughs> you've always looked at it? Um, I guess so. That's I guess, great. Yeah, that's great because we haven't. I mean. I don't want to point any fingers here, but Tanya hasn't released everybody with love. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? She hasn't released everybody with love. You don't talk. You don't. You don't you, we talked about relationships in the past. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, you but I do believe them with love. I do believe, I in, believe calling, in releasing them with love. I do believe in calling in the one. Yes, she in believes in that. Mm-hmm. Now, you guys had an interesting conversation the other day, Tanya. Yes, we did. We were talking about my favorite song on the album, which is "Hasta Cuando." And the part that I like about it, and I actually posted a TikTok using that, the word, the spoken word, because I feel like everybody deals with the, these trolls in their life. You know what I mean? Like these people that always are following you and they want to, they, they obviously like are obsessed with you, but they just want to talk badly about you. And I feel like I really just resonated with that portion of the song. And I just wanted to say thank you for that because it really felt like a release hearing it. And I really enjoyed it. Thank you. So it's got to be so interesting to sit in the middle of how people personally respond and react to things that have come out of your mind and your emotion and your feelings, Mm -hmm. right? Because everybody feels, everybody's got something going on differently. Everybody feels different things and they might get a hundred, a thousand different connections with the song. Yeah. I think in general, like how Tanya was saying, it's like, I think in the human experience, we literally all have people um, that... uh, that we've had that experience with or you know that we we have to deal with not just being ourselves but also having to deal with all the outside talk about being ourselves and the reaction to us and um so i think a lot of the songs just are about human experiences that are very common to anybody Kali Uchi's here. Do you meditate? Do you, like, you've got a zen. I want to I want to tap into it. What is your zen? Where's the zen come from? Honestly, we don't have as much zen. I haven't meditated in a long time, but when I was little, I used to meditate all the time. I used to make all the little kids in the neighborhood meditate with me. Really? When you were little? <laughs> yeah. Like, as a kid? I used to meditate as a kid a lot. Nobody mm-hmm. taught it Nobody taught it to me, um, but I used to do it. And what did the kids say? What are yeah. you, like, they're I, like, wait, I, we want to ride a I bike. Only, I only remember. <laughs> no, we used to play, too, but I only remember because this, um, this girl... Um, recently wrote me my the neighborhood that I grew up in via is like mostly like El Salvadorian kids and this girl her name was uh, Catherine she wrote me and um I seen her message and she was like I just realized who you are we went to you know we were we were little and I remember you had me meditating with you and I, we almost burnt burnt the house on fire because you put candles all around us and I knocked the candle over That's amazing. <laughs> and that just unlocked that memory for me where I was like oh yeah I do used to have us all go and meditate together I love that you're roaming around with scented zen candles <laughs> teaching the kids in the neighborhood how to That's relax so funny um, so great to meet you for the first time nice and we are too. fans I can't yeah. wait to see you often i know we will 
Her new album, Caliucci's Red Moon in Venus, is out now. Keep doing it. We are having such a good time listening to it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank Congrats you for supporting on the, the album. Record. Thank you.